Welcome to the library. In this video, we will cover the research technique, citation chasing. Picture this. You've been using Primo and finding some good results, but you only have three sources and your instructor requires at least 10. Instead of looking through more pages of search results, let me introduce another option, citation chasing. Almost all academic resources have a list of references the author used for their information, whether it's a journal article, a conference paper, or a book. These other resources are often relevant to your topic and often include important experts in the topic area. As a researcher, you can use these references to find other relevant resources on your topic. Let's look at an example to see how it works. Here's a list of references from a relevant article. I'm interested in the resource circled in red, but to perform citation chasing, first I need to understand the parts of a citation and what they mean. When I look closely at the citation, I see it lists a journal title, which I have underlined twice here for you, so the source must be an article. While each journal often uses a unique citation style that isn't exactly APA or MLA, this citation style is closest to APA. So here's an APA citation color-coded for different information. From this, I can figure out the author or authors, title, and journal of the article, which is enough information to search Primo for the article. A quick search in Primo finds the article. Inside the item record, Primo has a full text copy of this article. In addition, the citations area allows you to see other articles which cite this article. Clicking the Cite This link opens a box like this. This list is not every item cited in the article, but it's a great start. If you see an item with two arrows, that means that both articles cite one another. These items are probably good ones to start with. Next, I can return to the article and click on Cited in This. The link opens a box like this. It is an electronic version of the References section for the article. However, this list has only 5 of the 13 total references, so be sure to check the actual article for the full list. But that's not all for citation chasing. Remember our original article? Use the links in the Details section to find other articles by the same author or with the same subject headings. When I click on the author link in the item record, I find another article by Walpole and Blamey about Literacy Coaches published in Reading Teacher, a similar peer-reviewed journal. You can also citation chase within a journal. Journals often publish on a specific set of topics, so if the journal has already published an article on your topic, it's likely that it has published other articles as well. In Primo, click on the journal title search and enter the journal title. You can search journals inside databases right in Primo using the Search Inside the Journal section of the journal record. If the journal isn't online, you can still search for your topic and use the journal title limiter under Refine My Results on the left side. Check the box next to the journal's title and click Apply Filter. Let's look at databases with built-in citation chasing tools. For example, Academic Search Complete often has a list of cited references inside item records. ProQuest Education Database also has two features inside item records, a link to documents with shared references, like the two orange arrows in Primo's citation function, and a box with links to related items also in the database. The last option for citation chasing is within ebooks and regular books. Find an ebook on your topic or a regular book by searching Primo and check the references list at the end of each chapter or at the end of the book. With a little practice, you'll be a citation chasing expert. Citation chasing is a great way to find additional sources for your topic. And let's be honest, it's kind of like a treasure hunt for library resources.